Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back for yet another install video. Today, we have another great product from Custom Dynamics that we are going to be installing on the 2018 Road Glide Special. And what we're gonna be installing is the Pro Beam Tri Bar LED light. As always, with everything Custom Dynamic, it is always 100% plug and play, making our lives so much easier to be able to just buy amazing quality products, plug them in, and that's it. So thank you, shout out to Custom Dynamics, awesome products, and you cannot beat their lifetime warranty. So the tri bar is just gonna be this light down here. Oh. One thing I do want to mention is the um, the warranty does not cover if you over tighten this and break the mounts and if you try to plug the connectors in, there's two connectors, one on each side, one from the bike and one for the uh, rear turn signals. If you plug those in the wrong way, they only go in one way. If you bend the pins at all, that will void the warranty. They will not cover it. So make sure you take your time. Don't over torque the hell out of this uh, when you're tightening it back up and make sure you're plugging your harnesses in the right way. If they don't go in easy, flip it, over, flip it around and try again. Let's get to it. First off, we're gonna be removing the uh, right side saddlebag. So let's dive right in. All right, guys. So I don't have a nifty um, lift for my garage. I just have a crappy Black Widow jack that doesn't work that great. Um, so I'm doing this all from the floor. The first thing we need to do is remove this back cover right here. This back piece needs to come off so we can access um, the 7 16 bolt that's holding the wiring harness up there. All right, so we pop this back cover off and there it goes. And guys, safety first, please. Anytime you're working under your bike, Please make sure that you have it in first gear. You don't want this damn thing rolling on top of you. See, see that 7 16 bolt? That's holding the wiring harness into place. So we're gonna unplug this side and then we're gonna unplug this side. But first, you need to get that 7 16 uh, not off of that bolt to free up the wiring, the slack in the wiring harness. We can unplug it. And then all we got to do is remove the two Torx 25 screws that are holding this in place. And we're going to want to keep all of our hardware. Uh, we're going to reuse our hardware. This, uh, the replacement does not come with new hardware. So we're going to want to make sure we keep the T25 screws and our, uh, nut. So, kind of a shitty part for me was getting in tight spots like this is my wrists are fused. So, it's kind of a pain to get to stuff like this sometimes when it's in a real tight spot. I don't let that stuff uh, deter me from getting this stuff handled. Sometimes it's just kind of a, a pain, kind of like this. This is in an awkward spot. All right, so after some finagling, we got the 7 16th uh, nut off of the bolt, and that's gonna free up our wiring harness.
So as you can see, that gives us more wiggle room. Get our harnesses off, our clips off. These are gonna just pop right off, one on each side. And then we have our Torx 25 screws, two of them, that is seating this into the fender and those need to come out. So let me get these unclipped and then we'll get the T25s off and then we will get the whole assembly removed. So we got our harnesses unclipped, one on each side, and then our Torx heads are not this, that's a Phillips. It's right behind that, right there. Tucked up in the most inconvenience of spots. Man, that's a nice sunset so far. All right, back to it. We got it out. Here it is in all its dirty glory. The old one. And it just sits up in there like this. Got that old one out. I'm going to clean up this area a little bit since it never gets cleaned thoroughly. And I'm going to clean that up. And then we will get the new LED tri bar in place. And as you can see, I went with the smoked over the red to match. Oh, can't see it. The smoked. Uh, where is it? I can't see. Here it is. The smoked saddlebag bar. And did an install on those. You can find that video right here. See how we got those installed. Highly, highly, highly recommend these bad boys. Also from Custom Dynamics. This is why I wanted to wipe out those grooves and get up behind there. See how dirty that was? And, and I got the threads for the uh, 7 16th bolt for the uh, the bolt that's mounted in here. I got the threads on that clean, so it'd be this will be a little bit easier to to uh, thread back on there. All right, guys. So here is our new one, and like I said before, we don't need to keep this plastic piece that's getting tossed. And then here is the new LED one. It's much brighter and it'll respond to our um, strobe modulator that we have hooked up to the entire braking system. Man, this thing is so much better. Let me show you a comparison. It's a lot slimmer. It's not as bulky. Should be easier to mount those T25s back. All right, let's get it installed. Let's just take a moment to admire such a beautiful sunset. Back at it. So the first thing we're gonna do is Get our Torx 25s hooked back up, screwed back in. Again, warning, warning, warning. Do not over tighten on these flanges. Do not over tighten. It does not need to be Superman, Torque Down, Hulk Hogan, Mofo, Torque City. You will break and crack the flanges, and that is not covered under uh, custom dynamics warranty. Do not, they are made of plastic, so you will crack them if you over torque. So they just need to be snug, sitting in the little um, channels, 
And that's it. Don't torque the hell out of them. I promise, you'll regret it. It's an expensive mistake. All right, guys, and boom, just like that, we got the new one installed. We got our plugs in, 7 sixteenths nut back on, T25 uh, screws in, both sides are clipped in. Let's turn it on and see if we got um, running and brake with strobe. All right, moment of truth, here we go. Oh yeah. Dang guys, look at that. Isn't that sharp? Custom dynamics, you guys. Always delivering with the fire. Look at that. Would you look at it? You guys rock custom dynamics. Always delivering with the goods. Cannot recommend you enough. This is why I will always, always, always choose you guys over your competitors because I never have to worry about going through an install and having to worry about something not working or turning on. Rock on, guys. You're amazing. All right, guys, as you can see, they delivered again. I mean, this thing's a couple years old, but it's like Christmas, I swear. It's like Christmas every single day. You get something new, tri bar light, LED, throw the OEM away. You need custom dynamics light on your bike so you can be seen. Watch out for the idiots. Much love from Utah. Talk to you soon. We'll see you on the next one. Take care and brush your hair.